What's the most beautiful board game you've ever seen? And how do you measure the beauty and the artwork of a board game? This top 10 most beautiful board games video will answer these questions in under six minutes here on Legendary Tactics. This video is only about the symmetry, the artwork, and the aesthetic beauty, and the overall effect of the game board and its components when it's set up. It doesn't matter how functional or enjoyable the game is, just that the board's artwork is in a class of its own. If you're looking for a top 10 boards based on how integral they are to the gameplay, I'll put that link above. So we could only choose 10, but some honorable mentions go to Lewis and Clark, Innis, The Legends of Andor, Takanoko, Tobago, Colt Express, Archipelago, Lotus the Card Game, Santorini, Dune, Wingspan, The Lost Ruins of Arnak, Blood Rage, Sagrada, Time Stories, Star Wars The Queen's Gambit, and Sleeping Gods. Trust me, there's a metric ton of beautiful board games out there. Don't forget to stab the subscribe and like buttons if you'd like to help our channel out. Here we go. In the 10th spot, we have a game that sacrificed marketability in order to make its box look like a canvas. So it's appropriately named, and you can even hang this one on the wall. In this game, you're a painter in an art competition. You layer art cards together to form a masterpiece. It even comes with little easels. This game is just gorgeous. Full disclosure, at the moment, my number nine pick is also my favorite board game, so there's a slight chance that I'm a wee bit biased when I talk about Kemet. Remember though, to make this list, I'm considering what the game would look like if you were to wander into a room in the middle of a game. The board, the artwork on the player cards, the miniatures, and the pyramids all contribute to this game's wonderful aesthetic. Moving on to number eight, there are so many board games dedicated to war using world maps that I felt that one of them ought to be on this list. And every time I've seen the game War Room, I've wanted to play it simply because of how beautiful the board looks. The circular style has traces of its Axis and Allies connections with a splash of Dune, the board game, and it's every war gamer's dream to have such an artful design. This board gives the illusion of being three-dimensional with its spaces emulating latitude and longitudinal lines, and it immerses you in the experience, making you feel as if you're a general in an actual war room. Number seven. Part of the process for making these very subjective decisions was to poll our channel's community to get your opinions on the best games. Though Parks wasn't originally in my top 10, I occasionally listened to you, and this time a number of you persuaded me to include it. Keymaster Games worked with legendary Anderson Design Group for the artwork, and the touch that convinced me to include this game is that it even uses gold ink highlights in the art, and it's also a collaboration from 38 different artists. That alone is pretty impressive. My number six choice is a game that has the distinction of being not only beautifully drawn and designed, but also very fun to play. But while the functionality of the board doesn't get a game on this list, the way the theme is expressed in the artwork does matter to me. From the minute you open the treasure map rules to the brilliant hues of blue to the card artwork, you're drawn into this piratey theme. It's a simple but striking board bursting with beauty. Number five. While many of the other games on this list are here for their use of color or the card art, my number five is Cleopatra and the Society of Architects Deluxe Edition. It's on this list for its miniatures and its components. It's a vertical game with depth and palpable, tangible substance. It's got some beautiful mosaics. The only downside to this game is that it would need to have its miniatures hand-painted to really bring out its full, resplendent beauty. My number four pick is one that I had never heard of until I decided to make this list. Feudum came out in 2017 and caught my attention with its color palette, its excessively cute meeple monsters, and its original art style that pops off the page and looks three-dimensional. This game is what happens when a toy maker and an artist get together to make a board game. For my number three pick, I have absolutely no interest in playing a game where you become an actual species of tree. It looks like the most incredibly non-board game-ish game I've ever seen. However, the stunning color palette, the wonderful forests that emerge, and perhaps the fact that it doesn't actually look much like a board game lodged this beauty in my top three. While we should likely feel guilty that they cut down actual trees to make these beautiful little standee trees, it's easy to get lost in admiration for the aesthetic. While some would argue that Bosk is the better looking tree game, for me it's hands down photosynthesis and our poll put this game in second place as well. 
To make this video, I read every thread I could find on Reddit, every article on the Board Game Geek, and I watched every video on the subject I could find. I looked up every game that people suggested, and I spent time ruminating and moving games around on the list and listening to our community. The longer this game stayed on the list, the more I moved Sulkin, the Mayan calendar, towards the top. There's something mesmerizing in the symmetry of the board, even with the unpainted stock cogs. And math isn't my forte, but I would guess that the golden ratio would explain why this game looks so nice. Choosing the most beautiful board game of all time is a very subjective decision, and you may have a completely different opinion on this matter. And if you do, please share your thoughts on what you think are the best looking boards in the comments. But what really consolidated this choice for me was the poll I ran, which gave 56% of our voters choosing Everdell as the most beautiful board game. From the set piece of the tree to the way the components are sprinkled onto the board and how it integrates the card's artwork into the game, I absolutely love how this game looks. From top to bottom, this game looks stunning. So what makes a board game beautiful? My list tends to include three-dimensional games, strong color contrast with vibrant hues, tangible components, symmetry, and original shape of the board design. But let's face it, if you love board games, they really are all quite beautiful. Thanks so much for your time, and check out our list of top 10 functional game boards if you haven't had the chance to see it yet. It's quite a different list from this one.